We're heading back down. We got quite the crew today. We got Caleb. Caleb. Sorry, it's backwards. Caleb from Saint River Electric. Well, not Saint River Electric. Caleb is helping Saint River Electric. Our buddy Drew. They put the solar panels in. Drew didn't have a voice last time, so we'll actually hear him talk this time. He was very sick. We got Callie and Mike from Real Life with Callie is her YouTube channel. She catches a lot of big fish. Yeah, just another day at the outpost. Gonna finish up the electrical and maybe put the new docks in. It's uh, Monday of the main law weekend. These fine people gave up their Monday. So we might end the day with some fishing. Maybe, probably. Yeah, we'll go fishing. Look at all the docks. Well, Spencer, give the folks at home a little update. Well, walleye season is open. We uh, crushed the walleyes yesterday. Oh yeah, you lunch. took uh, Scott and the fam out? Yeah, I took the whole family out. Kids caught a bunch of fish and uh, got a bunch of work done on the cabin. We're about 95% of the way done. So we got uh, a couple weeks. and We got a good crew here today. It's looking be good. good. What do you think, Callie, would you stay here? I would. If you had to? If I had to. If you were stranded on an island? <laughs> Getting there. Oh, these guys talking shop back here. Is oh, it a mess? Yeah. Are you gonna figure out what's going on? Oh, absolutely, for sure. Not too bad at all. Need some breakers, but do that. Yeah. All right, we need some official introductions. Drew, start it off. I'm Drew from Sin River Electric. Just here to help out for a couple uh, hours, I guess. Catch a couple fish? Hopefully. What are we doing first? We're doing your uh, OTR, your, your microwave hood fan. Professional so. microwave installers. Caleb, install. Uh, <laughs> Caleb, install. In, in, intro. <laughs> intro. Uh, Caleb Dirksen, uh, my good buddy of Drew's, journeyman electrician myself. And installer. Musky Slayer. Musky Slayer. Uh, thanks to Jay. So, uh, <laughs> apparently, we're now microwave installers. So. Yep. There you go. You're going to cut a hole in the wall. <laughs> last time these guys worked till, how late did you work last time on the roof? 10 or 11 at night. Yeah, really and awesome. it paid off with a muskie and some walleye. So. <laughs> muskie season Absolutely. isn't open yet, but we'll do some walleye fishing. This is great. Beauty. No plugging yet, but it's good. Yeah, looks nice. All right, check it out. We got the stove back in now. The boys did an amazing job. I think eventually that would be an electronic opening there, but boom. And we got a vent. Beautiful. Let's see what Callie's up to. In the darkness of the bathroom. What's going on, Mike? Not much, just getting the P-trap all put in. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Nice. And the sink's all gonna be in. Sweet. Just gotta let the the uh, silicone dry, uh, kind of yeah. cure up, and then we're ready for the next project. Done, just Done. like that, everyone's crushing it. Bigger and thins out. Yep. Look at that mess of cables. Most of them are mine from the Starlink and the security cameras. Well, I painted the roof. We got Drew putting a couple lights in the mechanical room. Over here, we got Mike working on the new set of stairs. Callie supervising the, making sure he doesn't cut his hands off. She's actually calling the shots. <laughs> we got, this is a cool new touch, check this out. We got some deer antlers up here. Hang your clothing on. Very cool. And then, if we go back inside, the other side, we got Mr. Caleb putting some pot lights in. Oh, and Spencer. Uh, do you want to do some painting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are getting done. Got a receptacle outside here. Boom. Well, Caleb drilled some holes in the ceiling. Getting ready for the rest of the pot lights. Looks good. Yeah, this, this was my fault because when Ben was here doing the pot lights, I told him we didn't have pot lights over the loft, but there were pot lights over the loft. So anyways, Caleb's finishing it off. We will be very well lit. This thing will look sweet at night. I'm, I'm excited. Caleb and uh, Drew are here for two days. Callie and Mike are coming home tonight, so we're gonna all go fishing this evening. I'll probably be a different video, but uh, yeah, good good stuff happening. All right, so discuss, so, explain. We're gonna run an extension cord, grab the saw, yeah. and cut these right here. Yep. We're gonna lift the ramp, slide the old docks underneath, because then we're gonna drop this ramp onto the old docks. We can get that out of there. See if Mike's not, not holds. I didn't, I didn't do any of the knots. <laughs> I didn't do any of the knots. That's great. Even sink. Nice, I'm step one complete. 
You got a water bottle or anything? Or even there's lemonade in the fridge if you just grab that. This is a pretty funny time lapse, but we're making it work. Is it not dragging? We're doing it. New docks at Uncle Mark's, baby. Woo! Everybody, Well guys, one of the important things at a good fishing camp is a good dock. And we now have good docks. The docks we used for the last couple months were pretty sketchy. We got them off buy and sell for a couple hundred dollars. Now we got these beautiful, I think these are 20 foot sections. The ramp itself is twice the length now, so less of an incline obviously depends on the water level, how much the incline is gonna be. Um, with the water being like average now or a little bit lower than average, it's a nice gentle slope with high water, it'd be pretty much flat. But uh, yeah, I think we'll be able to tie up probably four 20 foot boats here, but oh. I've had anxiety with the cabin. While it has been like one of the most enjoyable projects I've ever been on, it has given me massive amounts of stress. It has gotten me to call on you guys a lot. Yeah, once again, my gratitude is, is uh, very deep for everyone that's been part of this project. People I've never met before that drove across the country basically to come and help your generosity will not be forgotten. And we do have a little, a little get together planned for later in the year, but that'll be uh, for another time. But anyways, the docks are in. Uh, I think Mike's just finishing up the stairs. The guys are putting some more lights in. We're gonna do a little bit more and then this is gonna cap off a massive day and I think Spencer's gonna take us walleye fishing. So that's that's the plan right now, but I'm gonna clean up some tools and we'll show you what the other guys are up to. Well, Mike, can I jump on them yet? You got them affixed? Light a buck. That's beautiful. Just missing a couple boards. That's the easy Or is that an artistic thing? No, it's, it's a, my own personal <laughs> touch on it. Yeah, this is great. So you, yeah, I doubled the width. We're gonna put those other stairs on the back side, and this is gonna be the main landing when you come oh, to yeah, Uncle Mark's. Oh, that's so solid. Boom. Shim that up, we'll shim that side up, put the rest of the boards on, then it's ready for the handrails. Boom. Boom. All done. Callie did it all. Oh yeah, I just here to look pretty. Looks great. Yeah, a nice wide stairs gonna be great for people hauling gear up. I'll move these to the back side. Well, that was a massive day. Thanks to Mike, Callie. Make sure to subscribe to Mike's YouTube channel, Real Life with Mike. He's been on the channel a couple times now. Caleb Dirksen, Mr. Muskie King, and Drew from St. River Electric. I'll link them below. Amazing, those guys work fast. If you guys are looking for some fast electricians, I don't know if their work's good, but it's fast. Right guys? Absolutely. That's their motto. They work fast. We do. Welcome back to Lake of the Woods Marina. Your friends on the lake. That's what Scotty says the slogan is. Anyways, we're at the marina. We're on chapter 22, 23. The days are ticking, but we're getting big things done every day now. It's starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Today we have some very special guests from our friends at White Ridge. Do air conditioning, heating, cooling. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, hello. I'm Ashton <laughs> with uh, White Ridge Heating and Cooling. And who we got hiding in the truck? This is Ryan. Ryan. So Ashton was watching the video. Uh, this was a couple of videos ago, I guess, the video from last summer. And he noticed just a quick shot of the air conditioning unit. And he emailed me or DM'd me, I don't remember. And yeah. I think DM'd me. Yeah. And he's like, do you have anyone lined up to install it? So he was like, he was watching. Anyways, I'm like, well, no, we don't actually. So anyways, the guys from White Ridge are out here. We're gonna install and maybe we'll do some fishing. Should be a great day. Uh, it's a cool system we got because um, it's a heating and a cooling unit. So I think it'll be, uh, then we got like three different heat sources. But anyways, I'm slowing them down. We've already had some delays this morning on the highway. So we're gonna get down to the outpost, load this tiller up with 
a lot of supplies I never thought would be in a fishing boat. It's good. Well, they brought their pool noodles. That's nice. We've got some tools, some wire, some copper. All of the best contractors I've seen on this project have these Milwaukee packout cases. They, they seem pretty awesome. They seem, uh, they seem good. A lot of Milwaukee. I'm a fan of it myself. I don't probably do enough construction work merit me getting a pack out, but if someone wants to put on my Christmas list, I would accept it. Um, we got this tank. I guess they think we're going scuba diving, maybe building the patio deck or something. A lot of stuff. I actually did not realize they needed this. More stuff. You're learning lots about trades in this uh, project. Are you happy, Ashton? No. <laughs> excited? I am very excited. Ashton just started twitching when he saw the boat. He was excited to see the big tiller. I mean, I get giddy every time I see this boat too, so I don't blame him, but we got it loaded with gear and we we're headed down uh, about a 30 to 40 minute boat ride and we'll be there. Well, the guys put some motion sensing lights outside. Our outside plugs, they're getting ready. What is this unit called exactly? It's called a, a, is it called a split or a heat pump or what's the proper term? Ductless split. A ductless split. Yeah. So there's one unit inside, one unit outside, that's the? Correct, yeah. This is the head, this is the indoor unit. Uh, this is what we mount on the wall. The gree, yeah. that's what we're doing. I need to give a shout out to my boy Trig and Michael at Midwest Engineering. That's who we got the unit from. That's being installed by the White Ridge boys. It'll go up there where they pull the wire through and then the other piece goes outside. And uh, it's cool because it heats and it cools. So in the winter, it'll be nice. In the, in the winter, then we'll have three different heat sources. So we can, you know, if we're trying to, obviously the wood stove will be the nicest heat probably um, to be sitting by that crackling fire. But when you come in and it's really cold, you get the heat pump going, we got the propane heater going, we could do the wood stove too. But uh, I think this heat pump works down to like minus 30 or something. So it works in some very cold temperatures and uh, it'll just be a good way to, to heat it up. And if on the sunny days when the solar is just uh, bringing in a lot of juice, then it'll be no problem running the air conditioner. So we got quite the battery bank. So we're gonna be running, yeah, a lot of stuff off the Dakota Lithiums, but they're good. And we'll see what else the guys did here. They got pot lights hung. We're gonna put some pine in there. What else did you do last night, Drew? Oh, we roughed in the sunroom, put a couple of lights up. Another plug, all the plugs, the plugs. in. Nice. Yeah. And now they are putting the plug in for our incinerating toilet. This is gonna be a feature video just about this, but pretty cool. We did some research uh, on what type of toilet to use at the outpost uh, for an off-grid style, and the winner was the Cinderella incinerating toilet. So that is one of the big things we need to install sooner than later. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be a sweet Four Seasons toilet, which, you know, the outhouse is okay, but not everybody wants the outhouse, so that's, that's the deal. So right now, Caleb is underneath the house, and they're pushing a, a plug in here for the Cinderella. Ideally, we would have put it on that wall, but just with uh, how we need to do the venting and everything, we need to put it on this wall, so. Okay, you are good to go here, bud. So that's gonna be the rack for the unit. We need an update, Ashton, what's going on? <laughs> We're running the copper. We got uh, the outdoor units, brackets all put on there, um, ready to put the unit on once we get the copper all ran. Yeah, and then that'll be the fun part. I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed that it's like the perfect temperature inside right now because it's like, you don't want the AC, you don't want the heat. It's just, yeah. it's nice outside, but yeah. man, I'm picturing this winter when I come in ice fishing or to come ice fishing and the wood stove takes a little while to heat the place up to crank that thing on high, it'll be nice. Or if I'm too lazy to stoke the fire in the middle of the night, just have the remote, beep, beep, beep. The fun part, we're doing a little catch and cook. I'm gonna do some homemade lemon pepper. I'm taking a citrus kick, I'm gonna add it into the original and that might be the foreshadowing of a new flavor. Or you can just make your own. Uh, anyways, these guys are going fishing. Are you gonna uh, send some cell phone uh, updates? Oh yeah. <laughs> you, no, we'll you probably you. don't have service back there. <laughs> we'll show you the monsters we catch. Perfect. Guys, I cannot thank you enough. Amazing. These pot lights. Yeah. Look at all the pot lights. Wait, wait. So Ben did about half of this. I forgot there was more pot lights. The guys got these done. Uh, all these pot lights that are hanging up here are gonna get put in yet. We need to fill some pine in those areas. Uh, they just did, they did a lot. They put lights in the bedroom. 
They work fast. Another outlet. I was talking to them, I'm like, do you guys uh, charge hourly by the job? And they're like, well, we charge by the job. I'm like, yeah, you should, because you guys work so fast. Yes. So anyways, Sand River Electric, get these guys to wire up your cabin or house or whatever you might need done. This is so green back here. This is majestic. The old town's going afloat. That's pretty graceful. We'll bring back some more supper. I hope so. <laughs> the red goes to the red. Black goes to black. You got red it. Goes to black. You got it. Just keep going till it sparks. Oh, All right. I think the White Ridge boys are lifting up the AC unit. Oh, that's what those things are for. That's cool. So that just temporarily holds it in place. And yeah, exactly. I have so much more of an appreciation for all the trades after being part of this project. The tools, half these tools I didn't even know existed. Now they got this little yellow chin-up bar. You think you can do a chin-up on that? Ah. I don't think you can do a chin-up, period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, will the guys hang that unit? I'm gonna start cooking. Well, I forgot to buy potatoes today, so we're trying instant potatoes. Have you had instant potatoes before, Ryan? All right, we're doing instant potatoes. Never tried it before. I did test the fish. It's very good. We got some beans, and then we're gonna do some instant potatoes. Well, lunch is ready, and the boys are just finishing the inside unit here. That looks great. Nice and high. Yeah. We need a fishing report, Drew. Kale, what happened? One and one. Two walleye? Two walleye. Nice. Nothing uh, Nothing else. Mine was definitely bigger than We his. need Spencer. That's <laughs> yeah, the key. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is uh, digging in from yesterday, so. Looks good. What, what steps happening now? You guys are vacuuming out the line that... Yeah, so we're doing a vacuum on the line set so that um, it removes out any contaminants and, and gets the system as dry as possible. And then we can fire it up? And then we can fire it up. Nice. So what do you put in there? The so this is cracking the lines for refrigerant. So there's is refrigerant, refrigerant in the unit. Oh, there is, okay. Yeah, there's refrigerant in the unit. This is going to open up the line so that it actually goes through the system. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. It looks good. Caleb and Drew are out fishing in the Old Town canoe. So I told them my signal would be flying the drone over them when it's time for them to come back. So we'll see if they've caught any fish and uh, we'll pack up and head out in the boat. All right, guys, if you haven't checked out the website, check it out. There are some prime, some prime weeks available. You can hire Spencer as a guide. Do not want to see this cabin sitting open. We're going to use it for one thing or another if it doesn't get booked up. And uh, yeah, Uncle Mark's outpost, check it out. What a wild ride it has been. All right, the wind's blowing. That's a wrap. Look at all the gear. That's it, guys. Wear your life jackets and check out these awesome people down below. We'll see you next time. <laughs>